Tuesday. Today we are going to be focusing on balance. So we're going to be doing a number of things on one arm and one leg uh, to really challenge our balance, our control of our bodies, uh, also a little bit of cardio sprinkled in there. Um, feel free to take things as slowly as you want to today. The goal is just to do the actual variations of the exercise uh, and not even how many you do. So let's go ahead and get started. Bands on, cycles on. And we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees to start. Uh, and we're gonna start by isolating the shoulder joint and just taking some circles, extending the fingertips away from the body with the left arm. Just to open up the shoulders. And pressing the right arm into the floor, really actively keeping the body stable. If you take a couple more, working through the range of motion. Good. One more. And let's work into the right arm, keeping the rest of the body still. As you extend the fingertips away from the shoulder, and work to that side. Good. We'll take two more. And now to work into the forearms, we're gonna make our way onto the backs of the hands. Um, and feel free to adjust your knees. You can scoot a little bit closer to take some weight off the wrist or you can scoot them back to make it harder. Um, our forearm exercise today is keeping the base of the hands rooted into the floor. You're going to spread the fingers really wide and lift all 10 up and off the floor. We go up and down. So we're going to take our first 40 wide, and we are going up and down. And if this is too much on your wrist, you can just take an upward wrist curl with nice straight arms either way. Good. Now, we tend to kind of make claws here with the fingers so extending the pinky finger and the thumb away from each other the whole time we're doing this. Good. Using that control, the muscles of the forearms to help get the fingers up and off the mat. Ideally, we're getting almost the whole back of the hand off the whole time. Great. Our intervals today are 40 seconds of each exercise, and we're going to go through them two times each. Last 10. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come back to sit. The wrists feel really funky when we come out of this one. Uh, it's technically also a mobility exercise, um, but if one set was plenty for you, you can do the upward wrist curls for the second set. Otherwise, let's set up for the second one. So coming onto the back of the hands, maybe even scooting the knees closer to take some of the weight off the wrist. We're still getting that nice forearm work. And second set, 40 seconds, up and down extending pinky and finger as far away from each other as you can. And part of the reason why we're doing this exercise in particular for the forms is you keep going, I'm gonna demonstrate. We spend a lot of time with our wrists doing things like this, typing, driving in plank. And so it's important at least at some point in time to bend the wrist the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. That last 15 seconds. Up and up, good. Maybe even don't let your fingers touch the floor the whole time. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give them a big roll. Feels really weird, I'm aware. All right, working into the triceps. Our triceps hand to toe taps or hand to knee taps, depending on what level of difficulty you want. So I come up into my tricep lift and I'm either going hand to toe or hand to knee if the first variation is too difficult. If there is a chance that you're able to do the first variation though, I encourage you to try hand to toe. Just take it nice and slow, work through the balance and come back down, really pressing into the rooted arm to keep you strong and working into the triceps. Let's go ahead and set ourselves up. First set, let's go for it. Reach and switch sides. And if this is super easy and comfortable for you, you can pick up the pace. 
making sure that that one arm, the supportive arm stays straight the whole time. So really working into the muscle. Balance and body control is the name of the game today. So it's a little different than mobility, but it's still a function of how well we can control our muscles. Good, last 15 seconds. Good, band should be pumping. Things should be feeling a little bit hard. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, give the shoulders a shrug. That's set number one. In about five, we're gonna come up for set number two. So go ahead and root the hands into the floor. Press your butt up and off. Feel the triceps working. Maybe even press your butt a little bit higher. Second set, here we go. Reach and switch. Keep your butt lifted the whole time. Don't let it sneak down towards the floor. And up. Up. Good. I like it. Get my cycle going again. There we go. Great. We are half done. Cross those arms really straight. Get the floor away from you. Good. Bottoms up a little bit higher. There we go. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's go ahead and give the wrists a rest. Release them. And we're going to do single arm bicep curls. So taking one arm across the body, really isolating only one bicep, we go up and down. But I want it to be a tiny, tiny movement because we're only doing that one arm, okay? If you want to add an element of balance here, you can lift the opposite foot up and off the floor. So this really has nothing to do with upper body strength, the leg. It's just adding that element of balance to the upper body work that we're doing. So go ahead and pull the left arm in towards the shoulder. Squeeze your fist like heck. If you want to hover the opposite foot, you can. 40 seconds. Single arm bicep curls. Take them very slowly. Squeeze, resisting not only down, but also resisting up. And you can take that right arm across the body for stability. Resisting down and resisting up. And if your cycle is not hard enough, make it even harder here. Good. Ooh, burn out that one bicep, squeeze even harder. When we do only one arm, every part of our body should be focused on stabilizing this muscle. Good, so we can really get a good workout. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Good, see if you can do only one more rep, five. Four, three, two, and one. Release. Good. Give that bicep a shake. Reach back behind you. Lengthen it out. And let's work into the other arm. So I take my left arm across the body for stability. Pull my right fist in towards my shoulder. Now you can see that there's barely any space between my fist and my shoulder. As you come up, I want you to get your fist in really close, squeezing every part of your bicep to almost get it to touching. Or if you can get it to touch, great. Option to lift the left foot, 40 seconds. Here we go. Small range of motion, single arm bicep curls, maybe standing on a single leg. Nice. Good. Whew. That one arm should start to burn. If it's not burning, move even slower, create resistance in your own body. Imagine you're popping the band off your arm. Great. Last 10. See if you can shorten the range of motion, get your fist even closer towards your shoulder. One more, five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's take one more set of those. My biceps kind of feel warm and tingly after I do those. Product of the bands working. So working back into the left arm, pull your fist in towards your shoulder. Option to balance. Here we go. Small range of motion, out and in down and up and I'm working really slowly here and I want you to do the same Ooh, squeezing that muscle nice and if you're balancing on one foot good job it's not easy stuff keep pulling the left elbow in towards the midline of the body mm -hmm. half done 
Ooh, make an even tighter fist. Get it up towards your shoulder. Last 10. Then we're going to do our last set on the other side. Give me one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Left arm across the body. Right fist into shoulder. Option of balance. We are going. Ooh. And building this awareness of the resistance in our own body is exactly what we want to do for our balance work. Controlling our muscles so much that we're able to move slowly. Great. And in. Good. We're half done. Biceps should be burning. A lot of strength here. And last 10 seconds. Give me one more. Five, four, three, two, and release it. Keep the bicep stretched. Okay. Next up, we're doing our work down in plank. First in forearm plank, and then a single plank variation on our hands. So we'll start with the forearm plank. I make my way down onto my forearm. And really focusing on working the bottom arm. The top arm is going to be lifted. So the blood flow isn't pulling there as much. We rotate over to one side. Option to hold here and then rotate back to the other side or add a lift. Then we rotate over onto the other side. Option just hold or add the lift. Okay, so we're going side to side. Keeping that movement nice and slow as the hips stay elevated off the ground the whole time, tapping the top hand to the hip, okay? So first 40 seconds, go ahead and make your way over onto one side. We're going in three, two, and one. Roll through it side to side. Mm -hmm. Keep those hips up. Really working the muscles of the shoulder to support the weight of the entire body on just one arm. It's not easy. Nice, Colleen. Good. Awesome. Folks are working slow. They're getting the legs up. I love it. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. And now we're going to meet on one side and hold it and add a little pulse in three, two, one. Come on to one side. Drop the hips. Lift them up. Drop the hips. Lift them up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to the other arm. Same thing, other side. Use your balance, your strength. Lower. And lift. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. And rest. Good job. We've got one more set of those, and then we have the last upper body exercise of the day. So move the shoulders around. It's not easy to hold the weight of the entire body up on one arm and then add some pulses to it. That's a lot of strength. Good job. Well, let's make our way down for our second set. Come on down into forearm plank. Take one arm parallel with the front edge of the mat. Roll over to the side. Optional leg lift. And roll back through center. And switch other side. Optional leg lift. 40 seconds. We're rolling. Great. <laughs> Nice. Tuesday balance day. Good. Half done. Forearm side plank, leg lift. Good. In 10, we're going to meet over on one side and add that little pulse. We have five, four. Three and two. Come into one side. Hips down. Hips up. Give me six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Switch sides. Roll around the other way. 
going to do it here so I can take you guys. Let's do it. So we're down and up. Give me six, five. Press the arm into the floor. Last three, two, and one. Come on up to sit. Whew. Move it all around. Shrug the shoulders out. Our last move of the day is what I think the most complicated move of the upper body is that we're about to do. So I'll demonstrate it. And there are modifications should you so choose. So I come into plank. I take my left arm to my right shoulder. I press up and back into downward facing dog. I shift forward into plank and I take right knee to left arm. I shift back, I shift forward, right knee to left arm, okay? So I'm bringing the opposite leg to my arm that's lifted. So let's set up together. And if you want a modification, you can always do the one-handed downward facing dog only, or you can do two-handed downward facing dog and just pull the knee into the nose as you come into plank. But let's set up as if we're doing the full variation. Take right hand over, or left hand over to right shoulder, sorry. Good, one-handed plank. Press your hips up and back. Shift forward, right knee to left arm. Whoop. Shift back, shift forward, right knee to left arm. That's the move, 40 seconds. Time's going, we've already done 10 of them. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing opposite knee to the arm that's lifted off the floor. Great. Last 20 seconds here. Awesome, Ty. Woo I see that little shakiness as they're doing it. Last 10. Great, Jim. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. Set the arm down, set the knees down, and take a quick stretch. Press your butt back to your heels, child pose, but I want you to walk your fingertips forward so much that the elbows hover off the floor so we can get a shoulder stretch as we drop our head down towards the floor and give it a rock side to side, releasing the back of the neck. Good, start to walk the hands back towards the body. Let's walk ourselves up into plank and let's set ourselves up to the second side. So this time, right hand to left shoulder. I press my hips up and back. I shift forward. I take left knee to right arm. I shift back and forward, knee to arm. Time is going. And it can be a little scary sometimes to be on one arm or one leg. That's completely normal too. We have a one-armed plank to downward facing dog leg lift. <laughs> Make it nice and complicated today. Awesome. Good. Last 20 seconds. Ooh, arms are working. Last 10. See if you can do one, maybe two more. For five, four, three, two, and one. Set everything down. Come on up to stand. Move it around. Shake it out. Maybe grab a sip of water. We are going to get our heart rate up. And then we're going to swap out our armbands for our leg bands and have a question of the day. So. Even our cardio today involves balance. We've done this move a number of times before, but today we're doing it with the purpose of getting our heart rate up. So it will be familiar. It's a lunge high knee. So first 30 seconds, I step my right foot back. I go up, back, up, back. You know the drill. Second 30 seconds, we're doing our left foot. If pulling your knee up is too scary, you can always tap, tap. And the last 30 seconds, sorry gang, we're coming back into plank pose. We're doing X plank. Tap forward, tap forward. We've already practiced this move on one arm. We are primed to do it. And we're gonna make it a part of our cardio. But to give the wrist a break, first 30 seconds, lunge high knees. So let's step the right foot back, left foot forward. We're going in three, two, and one. Bring it up, back, up, back. And I want you to see you get your back knee down towards the ground. So we're not just stepping back, we're lunging back. Awesome. Yes. 
And you can move the arms around, whatever feels good, but I want this move to be isolated in the legs. So ideally we're keeping the torso fairly stable and upright. Awesome, that's it. Woo, I love it. Last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, left foot back. Find that lunge position. Ready, set, here we go. Good. I love it. Focus on using your core to really pull the knee up. Get that back knee even lower. Yes. Good. Looks like we're ready to take off. <laughs> we're going so fast. These are awesome. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone drop down into plank. Last 30 seconds. X plank. Ready. Set, here we go. Lift up, tap hand to opposite leg, shift forward. Up, hand to opposite leg, shift forward. Working through it. And if being on one hand is too scary, just shift yourself back and forward. That's fine too. Good. After this, we're going to give our hands a break. Yes. Awesome. Last 10. Get those hips up and back even further, opening up the hamstrings while we're working the upper body and getting our heart rate for five, four, three, two. Hold your hips up and back. Drop both hands down to the floor. Pedal out the legs. Then walk your hands back to meet your feet. Forward fold. And nice and slowly roll up to stand. Let's swap out our arm bands for our leg bands and keep going. Great. Job. Make sure you drink some water here as well. We can stay hydrated, especially in the warmer weather. Okay. Question of the day. If you could move to any city in the world and live there for a year, what city would that be? Feel free to throw your answers in the chat or unmute yourself and share. <laughs> Steve always, always click on those answers. <laughs> Thinking today. Any city in the world. Most of the time, John says, St. Petersburg, Florida. Aw. Mary says, Porto? Hmm. Hi, this is Tokyo. We have some interest, interesting places. People are going to different places, you know, going all over. He says, yes, I agree with John Huntington Beach, California. These two would be exactly where they live already. Jim says Bend, Oregon. Peter says Vancouver. Nice. One of the most livable cities in the world. Oh, man. This one's hard. I have so many places. Sophia and Sydney, anywhere in Hawaii. George says, if not where I am, Telluride. <laughs> we have a lot of people who really like where they live already. Bonnie says, San Diego. Got it. These are great. I have no idea where I would go. Normally, I have an answer to this. I uh, Probably somewhere warm because I don't love snow. And it would probably be outside of the United States. That's the best I got right now. Colleen says, New York City. Cool. And John says, been all over the world. Reason we ended up here. But yes, Vancouver is awesome. Yeah, Vancouver is pretty great. If I were to tolerate snow, I'd want to tolerate it there. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked by exciting cities. Let's actually work out during our workout. So, leg bands are on. Cycles are on. Water has been had. Yes? All right. Find those outer straps of your leg bands. Give them a little hike up. We have an angle. Ooh, my cycle's going. It's burning. I love it. All right. So we did a variation of this yesterday. We're going to do another variation of this today. Single leg heel lift. This time we're taking our uh, toe of our left foot back behind us as an anchor, and you're lifting the right heel up and down. Now, if you don't need that anchor, pull that knee into the chest, up and down. Okay? But it's totally fine to have that back behind you as a little bit of a stability factor as you work into the right leg. So 
Left toe back, right foot forward, 40 seconds. Here we go. Single leg heel lift. If you're feeling great here, pick that left foot off the floor. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling fantastic here, you can even extend your left leg out in front of you. Play with it. Make it yours. That leg is going to burn out really quickly, only working one heel. Keep it up. Keep it up. Last 10 seconds. Good. Yes, balancing on one leg. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Let's set up for the other side. This time coming onto the right big toe to start. Good. Working that left heel up and down. 40 seconds. We are going. Now starting here, maybe working to here, maybe working to here, whoop, maybe working to here. <laughs> So we want to be able to challenge ourselves, yet still do the exercise. Good. Last 15 seconds. And I have to drop my right foot down at some point, otherwise I just can't finish it. And give me seven, six, five, four, keep moving, three, two, and one. Whew, calves should be burning. The good news is we get to do it again. So if you started your reps here, maybe you have the opportunity to lift higher. Second set, standing on the right foot, toes the left foot back. You can play with the balance, 40 seconds. Ready, here we go, up and down. And I had my cycle set pretty high, so I could not physically finish the set when my left leg extended forward. Good. Up and down. Whew. Feeling those muscles working. Awesome. <laughs> Last 15 seconds. Give me 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Wow. It burns. It burns. Right foot back. Left foot, heel lift, single leg, 40 seconds. Last round of these, second side of the second set. If you want to play with it, by all means, you can also do less reps if you're taking the balance variation. That's an option too. As long as you don't topple over, or if you do topple over, get back up, I'm happy. It's just exercise. We can try and make it a little bit fun. Sometimes you got to fall, as long as you do it in a safe way. Magnificent. Nice, Sophie and Sydney. Awesome job. I'm not going to call anyone else out because I don't want to ruin your balance. Last 10. Get that heel off the floor. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's take a quick calf stretch. Right foot back, drop your heel down, bend the left knee. And foot side. Really press that leg straight. There we go. And come back to center. All right, first round of heart rate boost for our lower body. We're only doing two of these. This is our first one. We're gonna do the reverse lunge high knees this time starting with the left leg. So step your left foot back. Get those arms going. 30 seconds, three, two, one, we go up, back, up, back, as fast as you can go, keeping a sustainable pace and without toppling over. Woo, go Bonnie. Awesome, George has got it. I love seeing your guys' arms. You're like flying, you're going, you're focused. This is great. Mm-hmm. Last 10. Then we're going to jump right into the other side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Other side. Right foot back. Come into that lunge position and go. 30 seconds. Pull that knee up. Back. Up. Back. Get that knee really high. Use your core. Pump. Pump. That's it. After this, we're doing our X. Planks, hand to opposite foot, half done. Lift, 
and lift. Great, Jim. Look at you guys balancing. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. I remember when not everyone could do this, or at least we couldn't do it fast. And we were all flying. Five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop back into plank. Boop. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Shake back. Tap forward. Tap forward. My legs are working. My core is working. My arms are working. And I'm getting a hamstring stretch as I do it. Each time you reach back, see if you can tap a little bit lower on your leg, working that reach towards your ankle. Oh, yeah. Last 10. Then we're going to press back into downward facing dog. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press your hips up and back. Pedal out the leg. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. And roll on up to stand. Next exercise with the heart rate drop. If you want to grab a sip of water, go for it. So yesterday we did a variation of a lunge hover. hover. Today we're going to do another lunge hover, but it's a slightly different type of lunge. This time I'm going to work into my left leg. So I'm shifting all my weight into my right leg. I curtsy lunge my left leg back, hover, pull it up. I drop it back, hover, pull it up. If the hover going back is too much, you can always step back into an actual curtsy lunge and then just hover the knee at the top. Otherwise, I'd like to see you try keeping that left foot off the floor the whole time. Up, down and up and the lower you can go i my piece right there was fast maybe we can even get down into this and up okay so first 40 seconds working into the left leg ready here we go nice and slow over to the side and come back up and this one should be done at a snail pace. We have our cardio intended to get our heart rate up. This one, I want you to focus on getting that left knee as low to the ground as you can and bending into the right leg to support it. Nice, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Think about squeezing your hips. Think about squeezing your glute. Mm -hmm. Good. Last 15 seconds. See if you can take only one or two more. They are so precise and so slow. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. Let's set ourselves up. Shift the weight into the left foot. Pull the right leg up and off the floor. It doesn't matter how high it is. Find some balance here. Squeezing through the posterior side of your body, this helps a heck of a lot. Time is rolling. Let's drop that foot over to the left, and I come back up. Over to the left, and I rise back up. Also building a lot of strength here, not only in our major muscles, like our hamstrings, our quads, and our glutes, but in our stabilizer muscles that help keep us from getting injured. The big guys and the baby guys. Or gals, you know, muscles. Don't discriminate. Half done. Woo! <laughs> I saw a little tumble, and I like that. That means we went for it and we tried. Awesome. Last 10. See if you can do one and only one more rep. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands on the hips, shift side to side. So often in teaching, I see people who are really, really strong and what you would typically categorize as like, you know, ripped or bulked or have amazing muscles, but they have absolutely terrible balance. And so sometimes that can lead to injury if they're forced on one leg or they slip or something happens. So the work you're doing today is really all about not only building all different kinds of muscles, but also so we don't get injured. You know, say you slip, you go down, boop, you pop yourself right back up. Important for any kind of athletic performance. 
So let's do our second set of these. Shifting the weight into the right foot, lift the left leg off the ground. 40 seconds, time is one. Drop it over to the right, get that knee low. Pull it back up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, and we wanna keep our chest up, our spine straight the whole time. So you can drop into it, but we don't wanna slouch out. Keep the shoulders pulled away from the ears. Mm -hmm. Half done. Yes. Now for this last couple ones, see if you can get that leg even further over to the right, squeezing your hips for stability. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Let's work into the other leg and then we'll keep moving. Shifting the weight to the left leg, get the right foot off the floor. Last set, three, two, and one, 40 seconds. Over to the left back up through center. And people typically have a dominant leg, so if standing on one leg is much easier for you than standing on the other, just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Great, Diane. Nice. Also challenging the mobility here, too. Mm -hmm. See if you can take this last set even slower. Good. Last 20 seconds. Good. Maybe one or two more. Maybe even you hold at the bottom for a moment, hover a little isometric strength, and then pull yourself back up. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Circle the hips around one way, release all that good stuff. Move around the other way. And come back through center. So we're going to get our heart rate up one more time. Uh, and then we're going to keep going with our exercises. So this is our last one. Yes, it's a ton of lunges today. But if you think about it, the lunges that we're doing are not all working the same muscles. These ones, curtsies, are more hips and glutes. Whereas regular lunges target more the hamstrings. So you can do one type of exercise and challenge yourself in many different ways. So starting with the right foot back, lunge high knees, 30 seconds, ready, set, go, up, up, get that back knee down. Whew, there we go. It's almost like you're starting a race, you're ready to go, you're springing up that back foot. <laughs> yes, use your core, get that knee even higher, half done. Should be getting a little tired by now, I think. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Last 10, give me three more good ones. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Left foot back, right foot forward. We're going in three, two, and one. Up, down, up, down. Racing to the finish line. Last cardio boost of the day. So we're gonna think about it. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Good. Get those knees up even higher. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody down in the plank. Last 30 seconds, X planks, let's go. Hips up and back, keep tapping lower and lower on your foot as you do it. I'll keep jumping with you guys, good. Half done, up, up. Last 10, get those hips up and back even more. Work through it, give me eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two. Everybody hips up and back, both hands on the ground. Pedal the legs out. Walk your hands back, forward fold. And then rise up to stand. Ooh, let's grab a sip of water. 
We have two more lower body exercises, uh, and then we're going to come into some standing core work, which I like to call balance play. So we're on a lunge kick today, so we're going to keep working with that. We had curtsy lunges. We did reverse lunge high knees. Now we're going to do lateral lunge and hover. So we start by working into the left leg again. I pull the left leg up. I step it over to the side, bend into that knee, get really low, then lift the alternating leg and come back through center. Okay, you wanna make it really hard? Sink your butt all, all the way down, hover and come back through center. So getting as low as you can, woo, as I lose it and coming back up, okay? And I don't care how big the bend in the knee is, but I want you to really try and drop into it so we're not just doing this. Okay, so first 40 seconds. Let's start one side only. Step over, bend, get that leg up, hold it, come back through center, hold. Step out, get low, hold, step in, knee up, hold. Keep going. Each time you do it, see if you can take a bigger bend into your left knee, challenging yourself, your balance even more. Mm-hmm. Who good, Sophie and Cindy. Nice. Maybe even see if you can hold the right leg up longer when you're in that lateral lunge. Five, four, three, two. Let's switch sides. Get your right leg off the floor. Step over to the side. Bend into that knee. Hover. Step up. Knee up. Good, time's going. And as you lift that leg out to the side, the left leg, it requires a lot of core strength. So use your obliques to help get that leg up. And that's a big part of balance. Which is why at least once in every exercise routine that we do, we work our core. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Half done. I say, yes, you guys, this is phenomenal balance. Last 10. Then we're going to do our second round of this, our final exercise, and more balance. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay. Whew. Quick stretch to release everything. Hands down to thighs. We're down to shins. Have the legs out. Walk both hands to the outer edge of the left leg. Bend into the left knee as you shift your weight over to the right. I'm hoping to get into the IT band. And take both hands to the outer edge of the right leg. Bend into the right knee as you shift your weight over to the left. And come back to center, rolling up to stand. Get set. Here we go. Starting with the left leg. Pull that foot off the floor. Step over to the side. Bend into it. Hold. Get your right leg off the ground. Maybe take an extra beat here. Come back to center and lift. 40 seconds. Good. And you only have the option here to take this even more slowly and lengthen your hold. So coming over, getting really low. Up to center, holding up high. Mm hmm. Last 10. Yes. Sink into it. Give me one more good one. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last set. Right foot up. Step it over to the side. Get really low. Lift the left leg. Come up and through center. No one, 40 seconds. What? Talk us through in the chat that today's Steve's birthday? Oh my goodness. What the heck? 
How did you wait this long to say anything? <laughs> 20 more seconds, gang. Keep going. What? <laughs> you have been embarrassing Steve this whole time and you're just telling us now. Last 10, one more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well, okay. Everyone rest. You know what that means. As we do our next exercise, we're going to sing happy birthday. So the final exercise of the day is alternating arm and leg lift. So I pull my left heel in my butt, I bring my right arm forward. I lift, hover, lift, hover. Okay. So John, can you unmute us all, please? Is that possible because you're the host? Don't make me sing alone. That's a terrible uh, idea. Uh, I don't know how to do that. I'm well, okay, then see, you got lucky, and everyone else got lucky, too, because you don't have to hear me sing, but we'll <laughs> can sing in our heads. As you're singing this, as you're doing this exercise, I want it to tempo of happy birthday to well, you. Well, everybody could just unmute, everybody could just unmute themselves. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. I think Steven's actually in... Uh, the pool with Carlson right now. <laughs> so okay, then we're not going to sing if he's in the pool. But we're all going to do the exercise to the tune of happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. So it's like two count up, two count hover. All right? Right arm forward, pull the heel in. 40 seconds. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not going to sing if anyone else is singing. Like keep pulling your heel and towards your butt even more. Nice. Imagine you're holding a stress ball in your knee. Down, down. Up, up. Down, down. Good. Last 15. <laughs> I tried. You can tell my tried. We have eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Pull the right heel in towards the butt. To make this more challenging, pull the heel in even more. Reach the left arm forward. Get the knee and the hand off the floor. Down, down. Down, down. Keep going. I hear some birthday music in the background. <laughs> oh, that's great. Bummer, Steve's not here for us to embarrass him at the moment. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of time. He got lucky, I know. As soon as he pops up, before he knows it, we'll all be singing. Great. Good. See if you can reach that arm forward even more as you pull your heel into your butt, really activating your hamstring and your glute. Nice adjustment, Bonnie. Last 20 seconds. Good. Use your core. Try not to let the knee or the hand touch the ground the whole time. Good. And lengthen out those arms even more. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, we have our second set, and we're up in the game. We're making it even harder. This time, if you want more of a challenge, hover the knees off the floor, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So neither of your knees are on the floor the whole time you're doing it. Up, up, down, down. 40 seconds. Here we go. Pull the right heel into the butt. Reach the left arm forward. Let's do it. Knees are off the mat if you want an extra challenge. Otherwise, let's do the same thing we just did. We're still working the core. We're still working the balance. We're still working the legs, the arms. I like it. Let's do this if you need that little extra bit of something for your day. Good. Last 10. Good. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Give the hips a rock. Final set. If you so choose, tuck your toes, get your knees off the floor. Pull the right heel into the butt. Reach the left arm forward. We are going up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. 
final exercise of the day. And our standing core is gonna be pretty simple because we've been working our core all day long just to stay balanced. Just a little final something. Good, half done. If your knees are hovered off the floor, see if you can drop them down half an inch so that the bust doesn't pike up into the air. Amazing. 10, nine, eight, bring it home, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees, drop the hands. Last time, press your hips up and back. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet, roll up to stand. And our standing core work of the day is part of what we did for cardio yesterday. I take my hands behind my head, for 30 seconds, I lift my right knee up towards my left elbow without letting my foot touch the floor. Up and up. Then we're going to do the other side, and then we'll call it a day. Okay? Hands by the head, elbows wide. 30 seconds. Lift and hover. Up and hover. The rest of my body is not moving. Just that right leg using my obliques to crunch, get my knee even higher and higher up towards my elbow. Good, half done. And as you're doing this, keep growing taller from the top of your head. Imagine you're balancing something on there. Good, we're gonna go right to the other side in four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, get the left side off the floor. So wanna to touch up and down, even higher, up and down. Woo, <laughs> it's hard to do that without compensating though. We don't wanna move the body and down. Great. Awesome, last 15 seconds. There we go, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Couple butt kicks, releasing the quads. They did some good work for us today. And then go ahead and grab your left foot, hold it, pull the knee back as you press your hips forward, tucking your belly button up to your chin. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your butt, grow even taller. And switch legs. Yeah, grow a little bit taller, relax the shoulders, find your hip bones, lift them up. And release it, reach your arms back, clasp them, lift, and then release the stretch, bring your arms up and overhead, round of applause, balance, good job. A lot of time on one arm and one leg today. So that was fun. Um, this week we will continue to do strength, cardio, and mobility. So that'll be the lineup. I'm not necessarily sure in that order, but that's what we're going to do the rest of the week. Um, Friday will definitely be mobility and flexibility. Good job, guys. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs>